I'm Gabby. Okay. <laughs> Let's start over. Let's start over. I'm Gabby. I'm Sky. I'm Hallie. I'm Matt. So we're twin sisters. We're dating. We're dating. And we're all best friends. That's cute. I have had this idea for a long time just to get a van, build out a van, and drive to Argentina. I texted Gabby one day and I was like, hey, if I buy a van and build it out while you're finishing up school, will you go to Argentina with me? And she was like, yeah, can I invite Hallie and Matt? And I was like, yeah. We're inside Beanie the bus. We're in the bedroom portion of our 35-foot school bus that we renovated ourselves. So finishing it was the hardest part like getting all of the final things to come together and then there were a couple times when we were on the road and i was either like sitting on the couch or um sitting up at the booth and i just look around and i was like we built everything that i'm looking at and that is so crazy to me i was definitely on more of the designing like creative end i would say i really did love building it physically i had never really built anything before so it was definitely nerve-wracking i didn't feel as confident with the tools um but the interior design, like colors, decorating, pillows, that kind of thing, I loved. They actually moved in together to build the bus, to do the initial like gutting it and the first steps. We started in Massachusetts, went directly west through the Badlands until we hit um, Wyoming. So we did the Tetons and then we went directly north from there. So. Badlands, Tetons, Yellowstone, Glacier National Park in Montana, then through Canada, and we did like Banff, Jasper, Yoho, then to British Columbia, Vancouver, and then came down the West Coast. The bus's Instagram handle is at four, the number, babes and a bus. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up right here. We are at 7,187 as of now. We had somebody um, in front of us, behind us, I don't really know but he was driving and he was literally like falling out of the driver's side window being like, hey, it's Beanie the, the Bus! And he pulled over on like the shoulder to like scream and record. Like taking a video. Not safe. Yeah, not, <laughs> not safe, not, not condoning that, but he knew who we were. Every day brought something new. It was a lot of driving. Obviously we covered like 12,000 miles across the trip. We either go on a hike or meet up with some friends in the area or something like that and then come back, cook a meal and get an early night and go to bed, wake up, do it all yeah, again. Yeah, we definitely, a typical day was the four of us together the whole time. We watched a lot of movies um, on our projector in the back. We would all cuddle in the bed and um, watch movies and TV shows back there. We played games. I did a lot of photography, editing, work. It is so important to do something like this while you're young and you're able to. I think I learned so much, like waking up every day ready to deal with whatever was gonna come your way was some, so like flexibility, I guess, was something I really learned along the way. I think that baby Gabby would be very proud of me, one, for building a bus and traveling in it, but two, also just being openly myself in a happy queer relationship and doing all the things that I didn't think that I would be able to do. Just overall, I'm very proud of myself. Do you think that you could have done this with any other group of people? No. <laughs> yeah, that's a quick answer. I feel so grateful that I was able to do this with these people. The, the family that I had for this trip was the perfect family, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade them for anything.